welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to ice skate for beginners. This video is for if you've never stepped on the ice before. And also, I wanted to say that it's never too late to start ice skating. Like, there's no age limit for it. You can be two or 99, it doesn't matter. Like, if you've never gone skating before, you guys totally should go because it's so much fun. That's a great exercise and it's an amazing sport as well and I love it so much. So now, without further ado, let's get into how to ice skate. Before we start the video, I wanted to tell you guys that if you guys don't feel safe ice skating, then you should wear like helmets, elbow pads, knee pads, anything that makes you feel safe. Because when I started skating when I was three, I wore all of those. And here I am today. I have nothing wrong with me because I've been skating for all those years and I'm perfectly fine. So don't, so I've been to many public sessions and many people wear them. It's totally fine. Don't feel embarrassed if you have to wear them because it's for safety reasons. And no one's gonna really make fun of you because everybody knows that that's why you wear them because you wanna make sure that you're safe. So now let's get started. So to put on your skates, it doesn't matter if you have figure skates, hockey skates, rental skates, speed skates, any type. You want to always pull out the tongue before you put them on so that it's easier for your foot to slide into the boot. And then you want to make sure to fix it so that the tongue goes back into the boot so that you don't have it just sticking out. And you want to make sure that all the laces are on tied. Here I have this little thing so I can't go lower, but I go all the way down as far as I can. And you want to pull every single lace as tight as you can so that it um, holds your foot nice and stable in the skate. And you want to do one by one. You don't want to do a massive group because then you might not be able to get them as tight as you want. to the top when you have these two laces then you want to cross them and you can either put them over the hooks and hook them in I like going under them though so you're just gonna put them under cross the laces again under or over and cross the laces again once you get to the top you want to make a tie and make it nice and tight so that it's tight around your ankle then you're gonna go down one more time over the second hook and you're gonna cross it and come back up. Then you're gonna make another tie. But if your laces are long, then that's what you have to do like mine. But if they're short, then you don't have to do that step if you feel like they're long enough and like you like how it turned out. So then you wanna just tie a bow and to make sure that your laces don't fall off I, or come out. I always tie a double knot so that it's easier for them to not come out. And I just put my pants. When you stand up, you wanna make sure that you can still bend your knees and that your ankles feel good in them, but you wanna have them nice and tight. Also, you wanna make sure that you can stand up straight in them and that they don't like fall in and out easily so my skates are good and now we're ready to go onto the ice to get on the ice you want to hold the wall so that you're nice and stable and you don't want to freak out it's just like walking so you just want to step on the ice and you're on the ice and it wasn't that bad okay so when you get on the ice if this is your first time you want to start to like try gliding by pulling yourself with the wall like this, really slow, and you could do like a lap like this so that you can get used to doing it. After you're 
like you've mastered gliding, you want to try to start taking little steps one at a time. You want to still hold the board and do them nice and slow because I don't think you're in a rush to go anywhere. But you want to make sure that your knees are bent while you're walking so then you are more stable and you also want to keep your back up straight. And if you want, you can take out this arm, but you still want to hold on to the board with this arm. And then you take little steps like this. And you also don't want to really look down either because if you look down, your head is going to fall forward and then you're going to go up on your toe fix and you're going to fall forward. So you also don't want to lean too far back because then you're going to slip off of your heels. So you want to try and stay up straight and look right in front of you, not too far up or not too far down. After you feel like you've mastered how to step on the ice, you want to try to start gliding a little bit. So if you have figure skates on if, or rental figure skates, it's easier to push with your toe pick and you still want to keep your hand up and keep one of your hands on the board and then you're gliding a little bit. If you feel ready, you can take your hand off a little bit so then you can feel like it. But if you start to fall, you can grab the wall. If you have hockey skates, it's easier to push with the side of your foot than your toe because hockey skates don't have toes. So you're gonna push with the side like this. So you're gonna start here, turn your foot to the side and push. Bring it back, turn your foot to the side, push. And once you feel you can do that, you can lift your hand off of the board a little bit, but still keep it over the board. So then if you start falling, you can grab the board. Also, if you're trying to stay, just stay calm and don't start to lean on the board. If you start falling, you can lean a little bit, but then get back up. But don't like start to try skating while leaning on the board because your foot, it'll go out on an outside edge and most likely it'll just slip out from under you and you could fall and hit the board really badly. So you just want to stand up straight, bend your knees, and you can either hold the board like this without lean on it, just gently with your fingertips, or you can lift it up a little bit like it's hovering over the board and just skate like this. Because this doesn't really help anyone, <laughs> really. But I've seen many people do that and I just wanted to tell you guys to not do that if this is your first time skating. So do you feel like you can skate while holding the board? You can try stepping away from the board a little bit, like about this width, so then if you start falling, you can grab the wall. But you also don't want to go all the way out to the middle of the ice because in most public sessions, the, the ice is sectioned off in the middle by cones or traffic cones for the skaters to do like jumps and spins in the middle. So you don't want to go all the way out there or you don't want to go too far out because there's also some other people that are coming to skate around and they might be going a little bit faster. So you just want to stay around here close to the board and you can start pushing a little bit, see how it feels. And if you don't like it, like if you're a little bit scared, you can hold the board a little bit just with your fingertips, just if it makes you feel a little bit like more secure and it's easier. But then if you feel like you can do it, you can take it off and you're skating. So now for the part that all you guys have been waiting for. Most of you guys might fall while you're skating. I personally fall like a lot while I'm skating. But if you're trying to skate for the first time, if you're next to the wall and you feel like yourself falling somewhere, you have to hold the wall. But make sure that you don't try to fall backwards or forwards because if you fall backwards, you can hit your head really bad. And if you fall forward, you can hit either your knees or eventually you'll hit your head too. So if you're close to the wall, hold the wall and fall this way. But try not to fall away because you're gonna hit your head there too. But if you're out more a little bit, like this, or you can't reach the wall, then what you wanna do is if you feel yourself falling, walk out to the side. And it depends on which side of the rink you are. So I'm gonna fall to the left side. If you're closer to the board, you're not going to fall to the right because you could hit your head there too. But to get up, you're going to get onto your knees like this. Bring one of your knees forward or leg like you're kneeling or something. And I bring my left foot in front because I feel more stable pushing up on that foot. You're going to cross your fingers like this. And then you're going to push up until you can get up into a standing position. And maybe if you want, you can skate back to the wall so then 
you feel more safer and you're not gonna fall again. But if you can't get up, and if you have a friend with you, then you can ask them to help you. But if you don't have a friend with you and you're skating by yourself, we usually have um, safety guards that are skating around in a public session to help you get up. And if you're in a freestyle, there are some coaches that can help you as well. So now that we've gone over how to skate and how to get up if you fall, now you want to figure out how to stop if you're skating and you want to stop or something. So there's two ways to stop. I want to show you guys how not to stop. Because like if you're skating or something, you never want to stop using your toe pick because this foot can like slide out from under you. And because your toe pick isn't going to keep you that far from going. And also if you're wearing hockey skates, you can't do that. So how to stop really is if you're going skating, and you just take this foot. It depends if you want your right or left foot in the back. I have my right foot because I glide on my left. And you're just going to pull it behind you until you stop. So you're going to take it and pull it behind you until you stop. Kind of like you're doing a lunge. But that's for more if you have more time to stop. Like, But if there's someone in front of you and you need to stop really fast, what you need to do is you need to skate forward, take the leg that was in the back, Bring it forward, like, and turn it to the side, like, pigeon toe, and just push it in the front like you're making snow or something. So, like, if you're going fast, you can just do it. But apparently, you're not going to be able to do that. So, if you do it slow, you'll get better at it, and then you can stop faster using that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you guys learn how to ice skate for the first time. So, I want you guys to comment down below, have you ever gone ice skating? And, or if you're thinking about going ice skating. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!